you guys want to know the answer to a crazy question? How do Samoyeds react to ice and snow? And a bonus tip up next on Yeti's Place. <laughs> On this channel, we talk about what excites and energizes Yeti by posting videos just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and check out the links down below. New content is released every Monday and Thursday. Let's get started. So for those of you guys who saw the latest Star Wars, The Last Jedi, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Icicles and dogs. So one morning, we had a crazy ice storm that blew through. Yeti went on his early morning walk with his dad, came back home. Well, that morning, I discovered an unusual sound that I've never heard before. It sounded a lot like ice rattling. What in the world is that noise? And Yeti was racing toward me, of course. He rounded the corner, and I saw this dog that was just covered in icicles. Like the whole dog was covered in icicles. And that sound that I heard, that clinking sound going on, that was Yeti and the icicles that were clinging together. Never heard anything like that from my dog. And it just kind of made me laugh because it reminded me of those ice dogs in Star Wars. Sammy Eds love ice and snow. Ice and snow are great places for a Sammy. In fact, when we owned Chewie, Chewie would go out in the snow. You okay? would lay in the snowbank and pant. He was so warm, loved it, and he would lay on his back and he'd stretch out in the snow. Yet he likes the snow too, but it doesn't seem to bother him as much or get him as excited as it did Chewy. Now when I was growing up, we owned an American Eskimo. His name was Muppet, and Muppet was like a miniature Yeti. Muppet loved the ice and snow. He would go outside in it and he would take snow baths. He would roll around in the snow, like just bury his entire body in the snow and get a snow bath. Loved it. The Sammy Eds that we've we've had aren't quite as in love with the snow as Muppet was. They just think that, ah, okay, this is regular Wisconsin winter. I'm used to this. I'm built for this. I'm I'm a cold weather dog. During Wisconsin's second coldest winter ever recorded, our late Sammy Ed, Chewy, would lay down in the snowbank, and it was like 25 below zero before the wind chill. Chewy would lay there in the snowbank and pant, profusely pant. He was so warm. Sammy Ed's encouraged their owners to enjoy winter exercise by dragging them outside and getting them on dog sleds trying to bring them outside in the, in the cold weather, walking them for miles outside in the brutal Wisconsin cold. Yeti loves the Wisconsin cold, don't you, sweetie? Yeah, you do. Bonus tip, if Sammy Eds get wet and dirty and snowy, once dry, all that dirt just kind of brushes away. It's amazing. These coats are weather repellent, not waterproof, but once dry, everything just brushes off. So they stay this brilliant white color all the time. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for staying tuned all the way through Yeti's place. This guy right here, he is Yeti the Sammy Ed, and I'm Yeti's mom, and thank you very much.